I guess you guys all have all your mats set up. That's so lovely. Right, so why don't we begin? We begin the class. Okay, so standing to the back of your mat. Right. So you decide which is your front and then we'll stand to the back of it. We are going to start standing nice and tall and upright. Okay, we're going to set our body for the class. Just take a moment, look down and make sure that your feet are in parallel position. I like my feet to be directly underneath my sitting bone and not as wide as my pelvis or my hip. And I'm going to try to create a nice long spine here. Lengthening up to the crown of the head here. We'll take a moment. You can close your eyes if you like to. I normally do. Just to tune into the body, tune into the self, and just switch off the surrounding noises you may have around you. We breathe in through the nose. And as we exhale, we allow the body to come together internally and then just set our mind to our heart and our heart to, my, to our mind. In breath. And exhale. A sense of softening as you breathe out. A sense of grounding as you breathe out. And inhale. A sense of lengthening as you breathe in. Letting go any tension that you may have in your body, in your eyes, in your cheek, in your chin, in your shoulders, in your neck, in your throat, on your chest, in your fingers, on your toes, ankle, knee, hip, pelvic floor. You know, you just want to keep it nice and easy here. In breath. And exhale. This is the last one. And we breathe in again. You can open your eyes if you wish to. And as we exhale, we are going to roll down. We start from the crown of the head and we start rolling through the spine. Bend the knees as you go down. Be gentle with yourself, especially if this is the first roll down you've done in the morning or today. Take yourself all the way to wherever you are able to do today. Inhale at the bottom. And as you exhale, sense of pressing down to lift up the abdominal, bringing the pelvis upright, lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulder, neck, head arrive. Inhale. Exhale. Down to the crown of the head and gentle rolling, articulating. So we want to really try to make sure that our spine is like a rattlesnake and we articulate every single vertebrae down, bending to to the floor and the hip joint is the last folding in breath and then pressing down as we lift the energy up through abdominal and the pelvis will place right above the leg bone and then the rest of the spine come and wind and nice and tall two more times in breath and exhale i always like to take this roll down as a little meditation to just allow our mind to tune in a little deeper, doing a little scan in the body, mentally, in breath. There is no rush. And exhale, rolling up, creating a little massage through the spine to prepare our body. And last one, in breath. Exhale, we roll down again. All the way down and then the deep fall through the hip. Perhaps you can go a little closer to the floor here, a little closer to your legs. And then from here, hold that. As you roll up again, we're going to just soften the knees and then take your body up into a little flat back there. So I wanted to create a little washboard. You don't have to go horizontal, just nice and flat here. And then we stay here. So ground the feet, even pressure underneath the feet here, reach into the crown of the head to your fingertips and away from the tailbone. We bend the right knee a little deeper. We extend the left knee a little straighter. That. And then come back, bending both knees. We bend the left knee, we extend the right leg. 
and then we come back to center and we bend the right, extend the left and then a little stretch in the morning, center. We bend the left, extend the right and then back, double feet on the floor and one more each side, right knee, left leg extended and then reach right back onto your feet. Last one, bend the left, extend the right knee, reach back bending both knees, and then we're going to fold our body, bring our hands down to the floor, and we're going to walk our hands forward to our upstretch position for this morning, for today, this afternoon, this evening, and then see if we can really tr try to lift the heels up, creating a nice tall sharp point with a tailbone there, like a Mount Everest there. And then the crown of the head is just lengthening down towards the floor, nice and easy through the neck. And then pressing the armpit slightly forward so you can engage the lats and your serratus interior. And then lower the heels down and enjoy that stretch through the back of the legs. Three sets of breath here, inhale. And exhale, and every time you breathe in, you feel more stretch, more lengthening through the crown of the head, through the spine, through the tailbone, and breath. And exhale, securing that center. One more, in breath. And exhale. We in breath again. And as we exhale, we walk the feet now towards the hands. So we're going to walk forward, walk forward, walk forward, and then go into a deep fold again here. Make sure the feet are still in parallel position and then bend the knees deeper to a little squat in a diagonal line there. That's it. Beautiful. Pulling the arms back, engaging the spine here, and we stay here as we breathe in. And we breathe out. Nice and, nice and calm, in breath, exhale, two more breath, one more breath, and forward fold, bring your hands down to the floor, lower the knees down, and then release the feet behind you, sit the pelvis down and then bring the legs forward, in front of you. That's it. Into a diamond leg position here. Okay. Interlacing the hands behind your head. Just going to go diagonal so you can see what's happening there. Right. Over, away from me as we inhale, side bending. And then forward flexion, forward bending through the rib cage over to your, towards me. And then into a slight high release, so extension and then bring it upright and over towards me, in breath. And then exhale, forward bending, scooping that upper abdominal over to the opposite side and high release, slight extension, and then come back upright. Again, inhale, away from me and forward and over towards me and extend high release and come back and over towards me, side bending and a forward flexion and over to the opposite side, extend high release and come back, one more set, in breath, exhale, and upright, last one, side bend, inhale, exhale, forward, Inhale as you extend backward. Exhale as you come upright. Beautiful. And then bring the legs upright. So feet are still parallel position. Take the arms forward. All right, so perching right onto the sitting bone. And imagine you have a pillar behind you. You want to lean the spinal column against that pillar all the while. And then we'll go into a C curve. So we pull back in the abdominal and we round our spine. The shoulder stays right above the pelvis there. And then we're going to roll back to a certain point where the shoulders are in line with the knee there. Stay. 
in breath exhale come up forward over the pelvis again and then upright nice and tall and C curve pulling back abdominal that's beautiful guys and then we roll back just to a point where the shoulders are in line with your knees there so maybe not too far down and then come forward again and then lifting up then we're going to add on to that we're going to C curve and we roll back to the same point we stay Left arm comes up to your ears, scooping deep in the abdominal. Come back forward. Right arm comes up next to your ears and come back forward. Both arm comes up. We're going to load the abdominal a little deeper as your arm goes next to your ears, maybe a little shake. Bring the arms forward and we're gonna come up over the pelvis. Lift the spine upright, take your arms up with you. High release, arch the back. Place your hands back behind you, fingertips facing your bottom. Curl the pelvis, roll up to that modified front back support, open through the chest, and then articulate down through the spine, sit back. Push off with the arms upright, take the arms forward. You got that? And C curve, we roll to the shoulder and knee height. Left arm and back. Right arm. Yes, and back. Both arm. Maintain the secret of the abdominal and forward. Round ourselves forward over the pelvis. Unravel the spine upright through the spine. Arms overhead, high release, which means extension through the thoracic. Hands back behind you. Place your hands curling the spine, rolling up through the spine into the modified back support and rolling down through the spine. Sit the pelvis back and upright. Take the arms forward one more time. Seeker, we roll back. Left arm and right arm both arms run forward yes 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 upright arms up to the sky extend the upper back arch upright hands back behind you fingertips forward articulate through the spine into that table position push that pelvis up Beautiful, articulate down through the spine. Sit the pelvis back and upright. Nice, take the arms forward. And C curve, a little different now here. We roll back and we stay. Take your right arm to the side, rotate the upper spine over to the right and then come back here. Take the left arm open to the side, rotate to the left side and come back to center. Keeping the scoop position in abdominal, right arm. Pelvis is absolutely stable here. I'm doing flexion and rotation, and then come back. One more each side. Inhale as we rotate. Exhale. Inhale as we rotate. Anchor the pelvis, anchor your feet. Exhale, stay in breath. Exhale, come up over the pelvis and lift the spine up, arch, high release, upright, hands back behind you and articulate up, up, up through the table position and then articulate down, 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 beautiful and upright and this time we're going to go right down to the floor into the seeker and we roll down 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 to the chest lift position walk the feet closer to the bottom right arms down release the head down so pelvic curl in three stages everybody take an in breath 
we exhale, we're just gonna engage the abdominal, imprint the lower back, only the pelvis will come off the floor. The lumbar spine, the lower back, the middle back is still don't attach to the floor. And then in breath, hold, exhale, release the pelvis down. We repeat that again, in breath. Exhale, just the pelvis, rocking up, curling, lumbar spine still on the floor, in breath hold. So give me a deep scoop here, and then exhale, come back down. Now this time, we're gonna go up just to the rib cage. Exhale, through the pelvis, through the lumbar spine, peel the lumbar spine off the floor, keep the lower rib cage attached to the floor. In breath hold. Exhale, deepen up the abdominal flexion down through the floor and then release the pelvis back to a start position. Repeat that again. Exhale, scooping in and deep, imprint the lower back and then peeling the lower back off, keep the rib cage on the floor in breath. And exhale, imprint the lower back down onto the floor and then the pelvis back to the floor. Now this time we're gonna take it all the way to the shoulders. So the full length, exhale, abdominal, imprinting lower back, peeling up the lumbar spine, peeling up the middle back, right up to the tip of the shoulder, downward energy through the arms, downward energy through the feet, upward energy through the back of your thighs and the tailbone, in breath, exhale, let's roll it down all the way, right back down to your start position. We'll do that one more time, in breath. So we go through each stages, pelvis is up, lower back is up, rib cage is up, reaching away from the shoulders, downward energy through the arms, the feet, upward energy through the pelvis, and the hamstrings, exhale, rolling down, rolling down, rolling down, rolling down. And gorgeous, everybody, good work. Interlacing the hands behind your head onto a chest lift. All right, so we cup our head with our hands here. We support our neck with our hands. The elbow will come off the floor here. Take a in breath. Exhale, prepare the abdominals. And then we go into a forward flexion through the upper back and the middle back stay. Now, as you in breath, I want you to scoop the abdominal, imprint the lower back, lift the pelvis, maybe lift the lower back if you can't. <sighs> and then release the pelvis back down, and then lower the chest down. In breath, exhale to lift the head and the chest, hold. Now, inhale, curling the pelvis and the lumbar spine if you can. So only the middle back is down on the floor, and then back down to the floor, and then release the head back down, all right? Do that again. Exhale, forward chest lift. Inhale, we're gonna roll up and we're gonna roll down and exhale to come down. And two more. Exhale, chest lift. And then imprint the lower back, curl the pelvis, curl the lower back up. Inhale, release the lower back down and back to neutral pelvis. Exhale, come back down. One more time. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, we curl the pelvis and the lower back off the floor and release, imprint everything back to the floor and back to neutral. And then release the chest down. Beautiful, everybody. And breath. Exhale, we lift up again. We stay. Rotate towards me or towards your screen. Now, grab the opposite hand. So opposite hand to your thigh, opposite thigh here. You got it? So underneath the thigh, all right? See if you can use your arm to lift the chest a little higher. So I'm rotating to my right here. I use my left arm to support against my right thigh here and stay. Release the right arm across. Release the left arm next to it. Stay. Breathe out little pulses, reach forward and slide release, and four, and slide release, and three, and two, and one, stay, hands behind your head, back to center, 
over to the opposite side and grab the hands opposite thigh. Bend the elbows, come up a little higher. So I want both shoulder blades to be off the floor. Release the left arm from behind the head, forward, and the opposite arm, reaching. Little pulses, reach up, five. And up, four. And up, three. A little lift, two. A little lift, one. And hands behind the head, hold the height. Back to center, hold the height. And come right back down. All right, let's open the arms up to the side. Spine twist supine with a little variation. We'll lift one leg up to tabletop. Mindfully, we take the other leg up, keeping the pelvis stable to tabletop. Thighs together, knees together. Let's rotate towards me to your screen as we in breath. The normal way we do. Exhale, we come back to center. Inhale away from the screen, from me. And then exhale, we come back to center. Beautiful work. One more each side like so, in breath. And then exhale, return. And in breath, rotate. And then exhale, return. And now, inhale, rotate to me. Stay. The bottom leg will lower down towards the floor. It doesn't have to touch the floor. And then bring the leg back up again, squeezing the thigh and come back to center. Rotate to the other side. Maintain the upper leg. Lower the bottom leg carefully towards the floor. And then bring it back up, squeezing them together and return back to center. You got that? Rotate, I'm just showing you my bottom there in the screen. And then lower the bottom leg and then bring the leg back. I should probably face the other way. That's all right. <laughs> Inhale over and then lower bottom leg down and then bring it back up and back to center. Let's do one more each side. Inhale, rotate to me. And the bottom leg lower down towards the floor. And then pulling back using the obliques and the adductors. Back to center, over to the other side. And then lower the bottom leg with control. You don't wanna flop it down, bring it back up. And then return and lower one foot down. Second leg down, bring in the right leg across so you are in this position, right? Like a, you wanna do a glute stretch. And then we are going to rotate towards the left side. So plant your right foot down, right? Your right arm will come up over your head, over to, on top of the left arm, reach out. So you're creating a half circle, you're gonna roll away from me. Reach the right arm away from the shoulder, a little bit more to the floor. Bring the arm overhead. Circle back to that T position. Settle the shoulders down, prepare the abdominal and bring the leg back to the center. All right, repeat that again. We go, rotate, plant the right foot down. Reach the right arm overhead, away from your shoulder, reach out, reach out and bring it in front of you, above the left arm. And I'm gonna reach further so you can feel that stretch and then bring the arm overhead and back to the T position and center. One more time. And we rotate, right arm up, a cross half circle, forward in front of the shoulders, reach further and bring it up. Behind, T position and center. Switch the leg, please. So, right, and we go rotate towards the right, left foot down, and the left arm will come up overhead and in front of shoulder, and reach out as you circle halfway and up, over back to the T position, prepare the abdominal, pull in to bring the leg back to the middle. Again, in breath with twist, and then arms up, over, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out, 
and then lengthen out as you circle out. So you really want to find more length through the spine, more length through the body. Back to the T position, prepare the abdominal and come back to center. One more time, inhale, we twist, and up you go with the arm, trail the floor with your fingers, and in front of the shoulder, the arm will come, and over the head, open back to the T position, and prepare the abdominal and come back to center and release the leg down. All right, take the arms overhead. This is where we are going to work. We are going to do 50, we're gonna do 100, and then we're gonna divide it into 50-50. So we're gonna take the leg up to tabletop, and then second leg up to tabletop. All right, take an in breath. Exhale, we'll lift the head and the chest up, keep the legs at tabletop position. We in breath, and we exhale, we pump for five. And in breath, and and three, four, and five. This is the last one in this version and stay, you exhale, we take the leg a little bit further away, so not quite on tabletop here. Now here we're gonna inhale, pump up, we're gonna roll up, pump the arm, in breath, come up to that teaser prep position, and exhale, we roll down back to the hundredth prep position. Inhale, we roll up, exhale, we roll down. If it's too complicated for you, just stay down and do your hundreds. Whoa, I must lost myself. And exhale. And in breath. Exhale down. And last one, in breath. We're gonna keep it up here as we exhale. Hold, tuck the knees, grab the ankles. Lower the feet, open the thighs, open the knee, and lift the chest up. Did you get that? Or was this a bit too complicated? <laughs> All right, bring your legs back, rolling like a ball, but we're not gonna roll just yet, we are just gonna rock. So go into the rolling like a ball position, grab just above the ankle bone, all right, so you got that going. And now let's play around with the lumbar spine and the sacrum here. Now, we are gonna activate the lower abs and see if you can go into a deep curl, deep curl, deep curl through the lower abs with just before you're about to lose yourself to the ground and come back to the start position again. So we're gonna play with that. So we're gonna deep scoop in the lower abs. May not seem like a lot of movement here, but it's a lot of work and control here. And then bring it over. This is what we've been playing in the Flow with Mirror members classes this month. And finding that control to the lower abs or lower pelvis. So we've been doing this in our live classes. And then bring it back, bring it back. So see if you can try not to collapse in the thoracic, in the upper back, but just really work through the lumbar through the pelvis, the tailbone, sacrum, pelvis, lumbar spine, not so much in the middle and upper back. One more, nice. We're gonna inhale, deep curl, deep curl, deep scoop. So keep the legs tight with you. I am shaking, I'm wobbling. And then we bring it back. All right, let's roll for six. We inhale, accessory lower abs, and then you're gonna roll to the shoulder, use the upper abdominal, come back. And inhale through the lower abs. We allow ourselves to roll to the shoulders and come back and over. Again, in breath, rolling. So we make this rolling a lot more meaningful than we normally do by going deep into the lower abdominal before we actually roll. And then we balance. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. And last one, in breath. And exhale, over, balance, 
Brilliant, and release. Release the feet down, stretch the legs forward into our sponge stretch position. So dorsiflex the feet about shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Arms are forward here. Take an in breath and exhale. We roll down through the spine. And then we're gonna lean forward through the pelvis, so folding through the hip joint, get a little bit more of a stretch to the leg, we're still in a run back here. And then exhale, bring the pelvis up right, middle back, upper back, and the spine nice and tall. One more like so. Exhale, rolling down through the spine, finding that nice, juicy roll down. And then when you reach the pelvis, and we're gonna fold the pelvis slightly forward. You're gonna feel the stretch in the back of the leg there. And then bring the pelvis up right. So plumb the sitting bone down and rolling up through the spine. And again, exhale, we roll down. And then we're gonna tip forward a little bit more as we inhale through the pelvis. And exhale, we roll back up. And then here, what we're going to do Plant the heels down, bend the knees here. We're gonna lean back to the diagonal wherever it takes you, but I wanna see the nice flat back here. That's it. And then stretch the leg, bring the body up right, back to the start position. And we roll down through the spine and forward. Exhale, roll back up again, upright, Drive the heels down, drag the heels towards you and you bend the knee and then we're gonna lean the torso back. I wanna see that chest reaching up diagonally in front of you guys. Your back muscles are working hard here. Open up, cross the front of the chest and then glide the heels forward, bring yourself upright. Beautiful, one more time. Exhale, we roll down. <laughs> And tip in the pelvis forward as we inhale. Exhale, we roll back up again. Lifting, lifting, lifting. Drive the heels down, bend the knees, and lean flat back, flat back, flat back. Yes. And then reach the leg. Beautiful shape, everybody. And upright. Open the arms to a T position for our saw. Let's go towards the screen, towards me as we in breath. Move the arms. And we reach diagonally forward and then lift the spine up back, arm comes to the side, open the arms and center. Over to the other side and then move the arms. And then reach and soar across the outside of the foot and lift up, open the arm, center. And in breath and arm and reach forward. And lifting up, back arm to the side. Open the arms and center and twist. Move the arms and reach forward. And then lift back arm, move to the side. Open the arm and then center. We add some pulses. We rotate, we move the arm. We hinge forward and we stay. Now hold that. Little pulses here, meaning bring the pelvis forward and reach across a little bit further for five. Pull back, four. Pull back, three, two, one, and we come up, open the arm and center, other side. We twist and move the arms and we reach forward, long spine, long spine, and then we pulse forward, pull back in the abs, two, pull back in the abs as you lean forward, three, four, and five, move the arms, lift the back, Open the arms and back to center. Now here, we're gonna open again, rotate. Move forward, lean forward here. And now from here, we're gonna come back up. Your back arm comes to the side, still. Lower the back arm down. And we're gonna lean the spine up. And we're gonna bring our body upright. Move the back arm to the side. Open the arm and center. We rotate. We move the arm, we reach across forward. And now we come upright, just move the back arm to the side, lower the back arm down and lean up. That's it, yes, you all look like dancers. And then bring the body upright, open the arms to T position and center, last one. We rotate, we'll move the arms, reach forward. 
and then come up upright, L-shaped arm, arm down, and lean. So light in the back arm actually. And then come upright, open the arm, center, last one, twist. Arms, hinge forward. And upright, L-shaped arm. Drop the back arm down, lean back, diagonally, yes. And then bring the body upright, arm to L shape, open the arm and center. Bend the knees, so your feet could be slightly wider. Take your left hand in the middle. No, in front here. Other arm to the back. Thank you. And then we're gonna press the foot, feet, press the hand, lift the pelvis, lift up to that rotated table position here and then hinge through the hips and we come down. And then we're gonna lift up again, hinge up, twist through the spine and then hinge down, just dainty light touch. And last one, we're gonna bounce back up again, lift up through the spine and we're gonna bring it down Rest the pelvis, switch arm. Beautiful. Again, press the feet, lift up, reach up through the spine. Now see if you can get the arms right up to the sky here, everybody. So one straight line. Yes, that's better. Hinge down, look forward. Again, we lift. Gaze to the sky. I'm straight out above you, yes. And then bring it down. Try to use that hamstrings a little bit more and the back muscles. Again, lift, so press down with the feet, lift the hamstring up, lift up through the chest. That's it. And then bring it down, hinge down. And then take the arms forward, feet are parallel, feet are together. Take an in breath, exhale. We got some serious abdominal work here. We're gonna round the spine down to the chest lift position. Just draw the legs up to tabletop. We got the double leg stretch coming up here, guys. So press down in the arms, curl the chest up. Let's go, inhale, reach, exhale. We need to keep the chest nice and high at all time. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, last one, exhale. Now the next one, we're gonna reach out and we stay, a little flutter click. So we're gonna inhale, reverse swimming, exhale. In breath, it doesn't have to be low. Two more sets, exhale. Last set, exhale. Legs together, circle the arms, pulling the legs back in. Well done, and release the head down. Hug the legs in for a second, take an in breath. Exhale, lift up again to the double leg stretch position. Extend the left leg forward, single leg stretch there. And we breathe out, we switch. We switch. We switch. We switch. One more each side and stay right knee in your hands. Hands behind your head, hold. Lift the left leg up, lift the left leg down, and we switch. Lift the right leg up, lift the left, right leg down, and we switch, and left, down, switch, and up, down, switch, and left, up, down, switch, last one, up, down, switch, stay. Right knee towards you, hands behind your right thigh, bend the elbows. We're gonna curl the chest up, rock ourselves forward. The legs will drop down a little bit and then extend through the spine. My legs are still floating here. And then we're gonna run through the lower abs, through the tailbone. We're gonna curl back to our single leg stretch position. Again, we're gonna round up, scoop up, rolling, rolling through the spine, and then coming up to that beautiful diagonal back. Yes, and then we're gonna curl through the tail, sacrum, lower back, 
back to the single leg stretch position, we switch the leg, switch the arm grip. Same thing. We curl up, rounding, 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 and back muscle come in action at the end. And then curling is all abs to go down, all abs, all abs, all abs. Back to single leg stretch position again. We're all abs to come up, abs, abs, abs. And extend through the spinal column, beautiful. And we curl down through the spine, through the spine, through the spine, through the spine. And then bring both legs in. Take the arms overhead, lower the chest down, lower one foot down, second leg down, stretch the legs away. I think I'm gonna go over time, guys. I just look at my watch. I'm going slow. <laughs> we inhale, I've got so much more to go. Roll up, please, in breath. And then exhale, pulling in and come up and over into that C curve, C curve, C curve, take an in breath. And exhale, roll it down, roll it down, roll it down, and come up. Arms up over it. Let's go one more time. Inhale, chest lift. And then exhale, come up, up, up into that C curve, and then lift the spine up right. Okay. Stay up there, cross the leg onto a quadruped position. I think I'm gonna go over five minutes. Again, still working on my timing. After 16 years of teaching, still not getting that yet. So I do apologize if you need to go. I totally understand. If you can stay, I'll really appreciate it. Right, so into a quadruped position, our cat stretches. We're going to round through the spine, rolling into a C cuff, and then true neutral, extending the upper spine into extension. And then true neutral, rounding and flexing the spine. And then through neutral, and then extending the upper back. And then just remember the sequence, and then through neutral, rounding the spine. At this time, keep the abdominal active, send the pelvis towards the heel without sitting, you're still keeping that scooping, 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 the arms are still active, pressing the armpit down, and then bring the body over your hands and your knees, and unravel the spine into extension. And then sit in the pelvis towards the heels without losing the hands, without losing your center in your arms. And then bring it back over your hands and your knees. And through neutral round into that flexion. And then sitting towards the heels, scooping the abs. The abs are not going to let go here. That's it. And then bring the body over your hands and the knees into neutral. Extending the upper back, middle back, and sitting back in the arch position. Gaze slightly forward there, and then bring him back over hands and your knees, back to your neutral. All right, so extending one leg behind you, tuck the toes under, get the abs working. We are gonna go to the front support position, which is our plank, and then take the other leg up. All right. So everybody will need to get your hamstrings working, lower abs working, so slightly tuck under position with the bottom and the upper chest is still working hard here. And pike up into up stretch. Right, so we are gonna do a little wave through the spine here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna curl the lower abs, so we're gonna round the back, right? Rounding the back from the lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulder over your hands here. Kind of front support with a round back and then through neutral, which is going back to your plank position. And then through the crown of the head, arch the upper back, middle back, then lower back. The pelvis will drop down a little bit without losing your abdominal here. So we are in this position, strong in the arms. Start from the crown of the head. We round the upper back, middle back, and then lower back, and then bring the pelvis up to the upstretch position. You got that? All right, and then we're gonna go again. Lower abs, scooping from the pelvis, lower back, middle back. We are gonna go through the spinal column here. Shoulder over your hands, still in flexion, and then back to your neutral, long, flat. And then through the upper back, arch up, head, neck, chest, upper back, lower back, 
and your hips will go into extension. And then pick up the lower abs, curl, lower abs, lower back, middle back, and then pike up. Got it? Last one. And through the spine, rounding, rounding, pressing the arms to your hips and extend the head forward, holding that flat back, and then extend through the crown of the head, upper back, middle back, lower back, through the hip. Yes. And then rounding lower spine, curl, and upper spine, and back to your up stretch. Lower the heels, stretching in. And then a little prancing for me, bend the right knee, and we switch, left knee, and we switch, and the right, and the left, and the right, and the left. One more each side, and then up on tippy toe, Bend the knees to a quadruped position and then lower back down. Good. All right, let's go down onto the floor. So stretch the legs long behind you. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Beautiful work, by the way. Arms long by the side here into our back support position. Okay, so engaging the hamstring. Right, engaging the abdominals, we inhale. We're gonna glide the upper chest forward and up. It should be nice and easy because we've been working a lot in our spine. And then exhale, come right back down onto the front. Again, inhale. And through the crown of the head, neck is long. We are going to extend the middle back up and come right back down. One more like so. Inhale, reaching up, lifting up, lengthening up. Nice, exhale, come back down to the floor. Bend the elbows to the side of your body and rest the arms down to our breaststroke here. So we inhale to lift the arms and the upper back up. Extend, forward. Open the arms to a T position down by the hip side. Bend the elbows to a W and come right back down. Again, in breath. We lift, extend. And slide the arms, reach the chest. Bend the elbows and lower. Again, in breath. Extend. And open, lifting. Bend the elbows and come on down. Last one, in breath, lifting, reach the arms, open the arms, bend the elbows and come right back down and stay. Stretch your arms to a T position here, guys. Right, and then we're going to look, oh, sorry, we're gonna lift your left leg off the floor. The leg is away from the screen, from me. We're going to reach the leg towards the opposite leg. So I'm going towards my right. And I'm continuing that journey, reaching, reaching. And I'm going to lift my chest a little bit off the floor. That's it. And then bring the body back to the floor and lower the leg down. I'm going to lift the other leg off the floor through the hip joint and bring the leg across to the opposite leg. And then reach out nice and long, lifting the other shoulder off the floor and come back flat to the floor again. Lifting the leg off the floor, reach across to the opposite leg and go as far as you can. And that will, your leg is still floating off the floor, by the way, still active. And that will take your body into slight rotation. And then we bring the leg back behind you and lower the leg. Last one, lift the leg, extend across. And reaching out as far as you can. So, and bring your left back behind you and come back flat. Bringing both legs off the floor in extension, support your lower spine. Lift the arms up, bend the knees, grab the ankle bone. And let's see magic through our rocking prep after we open the hip. We go. 
Inhaling, we extend the legs off the floor, we extend the back, and we lift the leg up higher, and just see how much more freedom you have to come up, and come right back down. Again, we go. Inhale, extend the leg off the floor, and then extend the spine, and lift the thighs a little bit more, pull back, with the legs, pulling the arms away with the legs and come back down. Yes, again, two more. Inhale, lifting, reaching, extending up. Lift everything, pull back, lift up, pull back and come back down. One more time and in breath, lifting, reaching, expanding up, can we take the legs up higher, 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 and release, release. Yes, well done. Release the leg down. Hands to the side of the shoulder. Push the off, push your body off the floor. Sit the pelvis back to your heels. And just stretch there for a second. We in breath. We exhale, rounding, releasing. Again, in breath, and exhale, one more time, in breath, and exhale, and then from here, go ahead and roll up through the spine, and come up tall, bring the legs forward, last one, last one, just a traditional seal puppy, that's it. That's it. Okay. You can do rolling like a ball if you wish to. If you feel the seal pop is too complicated for your brain today, I leave it to you. So we got recapping. If you have no clue what's real puppy, elbow underneath the knee, grab the foot, other elbow underneath the other knee, grab the foot, inside, inner side of the feet together, right? Clamp the hands over your feet. Clamp your shoulder, your arms with the legs and push the elbow out into your arms. Rounding the back, we are gonna do the whole thing with the clap. You can emit the clap if you want to and just roll away, okay? And here we go. Accessing from the lower abs, we roll to the shoulder. We clap three, two, one, forward. And clap three, two, one, and back. Three, two, one. You can go with your own timing too if you wish to. One, two, three, and back. Clap, 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 and forward. Clap, 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 and back. Clap, 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 and forward. Clap, 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 two more sets. Clap, 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 forward. Clap, clap, clap. Yes, Bernadette, I still remember our conversation. And clap, we hold, we stay, we stay, we stay. Release the arm from underneath the legs, grab your ankle. Stretch your legs up to the sky. Focus internally, find your balance. Stay in breath. And see if you can pluck your legs back into the hip socket, pluck your armpit into the armpit socket and grow the spine taller away from the pelvis. And breathing in and breathing out, growing the neck away from the shoulder, growing the crown of the head away up to the sky. And last breath. And we bend the knee. Wow, you guys, beautiful. Open the legs out. Look at that stillness. Moi, beautiful. Nice and tall, through the spine. In breath. Exhale, we roll down through the spine. We allow the body to go closer to the floor. Whatever is available for you, go for it. In breath. Exhale. Rolling back up again, nice and easy through the spine and up tall. Uno más, one more time, in breath. Exhale, rolling down. 
and close to the floor. And breath. Exhale. And rolling up. And nice and tall. Tall and tallest. Thank you everyone for coming to move with me today. You guys were wonderful. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.